okay uh, so good evening everyone uh, my name is bola gupta so i am a technology guys in bank of america so today we are uh, talking about the blockchain okay. introduction so it's a, it's not a deep dive uh, ppt it's a, just a basic in introduction about the blockchain you must have uh, aware about that blockchain technology what they are using so i just wanted to uh, cover some information from here and there then prepare this ppt so one of the trusted machine that economist says in 2015 that to understand the power of blockchain system and the thing they can do it it is uh, important to discuss between three things that commonly uh, middle up with namely the bitcoin bitcoin currency the specific bitcoin that underpin in that idea of black blockchain in general so this is the uh, famous economist uh, quote so blockchain has a many meanings you can see that phone phone is a kind of network we have a specific network so blockchain is also kind of a network and uh, interconnected things right so the blockchain the idea of blockchain is the specific blockchain that underline the bitcoin so what the currency we are using underline so this is the bitcoin uh, a, a meaning that you can say so what is a blockchain the technology that uh, permit transaction in gathering into the blocks and recorded so blocks basically the database where we are storing uh, the things and it's a uniquely identify each transactions in, into the blocks so uh, you can see that uh, cryptographically chains blocks in the chronological order right and they allow to the resulting ledger to be accessed by different server so all blocks are uh, maintained into the lasers uh, how that laser is maintaining let's see in the uh, coming slide and and let's see how does blockchain works so the block we, we have that multiple blocks and and time of blocks so whenever we uh, create the transaction we create the one block and then under the block we keep all the transaction details and then this is the hash code we we keep into that each block the hash code and that when we do the next transaction it will link to the next hash code between the first blocks so that's what the chain build up so nobody can basically access yeah destroy even even you, you cannot change if you are creating any transaction you cannot change if you want to change anything on that transaction you have to create a new block because that uh, reference of the previous block that will create based on this hash code so if you see this is a block block one that transaction something dollar and then previous hash code is zero suppose that first block we create that one transaction and that hash code is one two three four so when we want to make a new transaction or modify this transaction we have to create a new block block and the block is has to be a link with previous block that one two three four and then has new has code will create so that's all we can identify uniquely each block and they will create that uh, and times of blocks if you are doing that new transactions whatever so i just want to give you a user case so actually i read in some newspaper okay, like the one of the best user case for this particular case is like a, a property registration so today you have purchased the property you got it registered from the registrar and there your name get registered now after that after you have sold it to say mr x mr x has sold it to mr y mr y has sold it to mr z and so only his name is getting that. registered over there when you are done, everything is available only in one server, which is available with the uh, register. Now, in case if something went wrong with that uh, server, if that server get hacked, then all the records will get deleted. Or there is a possibility that whole data can be misused also. But in this case, like in the blockchain case, like that whole server, like, in the, like he has mentioned, like if I had sold this property, like first property is registered with me. On the second, again, it gives the reference to the property. The previous owner of this property was this one, two, three, four, because he has given the reference of one, two, three, four. Yes. Then the third owner, again, he will give the uh, previous hashtag, which is five, six, seven, eight. So five, six, seven, eight, again, five, six, seven, eight to one, two, three, four. So you will come to know who is the original owner. So by doing this, the owner, this, the real owner of the property can be identified and this can help us in re reducing the money laundering and all Correct. those things. So similar thing in uh, healthcare also. If mm -hmm. any diagnosis come or any so each diagnosis linked by that suppose that yeah how high stacks uh, help in terms of reducing money laundering so one can say like if i'm just saying like property has been sold out mm -hmm. and thereafter he has played with the uh, come of the document the registrar ko paisa khila usne naam change karwa diya ya kuch bhi karo he has tried to play with the records of that 
so here he cannot pay because everything is recorded means even if we try to like usme wo third book ko change karne ki bhi koshish kari to first second will remain intact yes that cannot be changed and these are two different server available at a remote place we do not know ki ye kahan pe pada hai server and whenever we need to yeah whenever we want to change we create the new blocks ha huh. that blocks is not even uh, destroy not even uh, change not even modify anything you cannot do you will always do the next new blocks whenever you want yes matlab koi bhi correction hai to transaction correction entry marna hai yes koi change nahi karna nahi edit delete ha and that link to be has to be the previous one but only difference is the servers are very ek server nahi hai aapko pata nahi dusra server kahan pe pada hoga yeah i'll i'll, I'll come to there so there are two different type of terminology that permission and permissionless so that the things are we have a three type of uh, uh, blockchain like public hybrid four type of sorry public hybrid private and consortium consortium right so control by the group suppose the one group is cre uh, creating some blockchain then control by that uh, group and if you see here that what exactly the use cases for that uh, preferred purpose is uh, permissioned per permissioned or popular uh, among the industrial level form and enterprise level and popular for public use so if you create a public blockchain that uh, will you uh, that permissionless matlab that don't require the permission anything but if you are using hybrid or private or whatever that controlled by a group it it must be a permission uh, based so that's the uh, permission from whom permission from the, the uh, miners whoever the created that blockchain so without that permission you cannot do anything so, so there are all multiple uh, miners who get your uh, get the permission of your transactions and then your transaction will be a verified see miners miners in the context of uh, your bitcoin yes we are, we are talking about bitcoin right? is a currency yeah, blockchain currency. is a concept ha ah, correct so the concept we are talking about mm -hmm. right so there are, who is the miner so like banks employ this blockchain correct you know for transaction tracking and all who is the miner in that case In that case, whoever that create this technology, blockchain technology, suppose the bank. So bank there was a uh, behind they create some uh, uh, system. So if you do one transaction within a bank, your transaction will be verified that system, and then your chain will be continued. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But then in concept of this, when you say miner or without permission, you know, um, permission is taken from the miner. Mm -hmm. Here permission. who will give the permission in that uh, you know corporate use so case first source the ha, that is the first is initiated the first source over no that's what i told that whoever initiate those uh, owners of those blocks yeah. so subsequent transaction will automatically be added to the chain yes right and that information goes to that uh, yeah, owner yeah. so that will be shared yes but owner okay the system is kept in such a way that the permission means you you do you have to take permission every time the transaction takes place it is automatic automatically it's all things automatically it's not a manual thing if you give, go okay. uh, go to that transaction and the, so whatever that uh, any discrepancy there so they will notify they will correct but they can reject also yeah the if if finish. same maybe they they are not find any valid, valid thing so they they will reject yeah but again as i feel the rejection also will come through system yeah, so yeah. everything is system through system only system, system driven no physical hmm. so these these are the uh, four what type of uh, blockchain networks we are uh, what we are discussed just now so main advantage was the independence uh, transparency performance scalability performance low cost performance security so these are the kind of uh, uh, benefits and uh, control what control each blockchain we have okay so like if you see that bitcoin is a public coin right like like coins and uh, Hyperledger and Fabric is a private coin. XPR token is a private uh, hybrid coin. Maybe that sometimes they use public network and then sometimes they use private also. So th these are that uh, main advantage and disadvantage. You can see and that example as well. Let me just see. Okay, next slide. So let let understand that how the transaction maintain in the blockchain. So there was centralized laser laser earlier uh, in the uh, Term of if if you see the bank, so how the bank is using currently. So suppose we have a multiple account or we have an account in the Axis Bank or whatever that bank. So uh, and we, if we we want to make some transaction in some different account, so we required two laser, right? Two laser and two transaction. 
David and carried both lasers, so required. So this is a, a, a classic example for the centralized laser, what we are currently, uh, we are working on. So, and distributed laser, distributed laser used in blockchain. So it's a, a node connected to each laser. So suppose if you want to uh, create one transaction in that laser, so that transaction will go to the owners only, and then owners will approve, move over that owners and miners. So those, they, they approve, and then uh, this is a simple transaction. It is not the uh, centralized laser. So this is a distributed network, you can say. So it's holding one laser, not multiple lasers. And in, in distributed laser, we have a single entry also and multiple entities. So that you can see node A, node B, node C, node D, node D. So it's a single, if you want to make a, some single uh, entity, so they, these are all the single entities and make a transaction in between whatever node A want to be, node B. So it's a single entities, right? A separate entity. But multiple entities, maybe node A, node B, node E is a group of uh, some uh, some laser, right? So we can use a multiple ent entities in that case. Let me show you that things. Hmm. So if you see the single node, how we make the transaction and multiple nodes, how we make the transaction with single entity, single entity, and then multiple entity. Like data, in, data input, if you see is in the centralized database and de decentralized database and distribute laser technology. So there was the data storage in uh, in, in single entities. We, we store a single single place and somewhere in the server we are storing in that. But if you see um, multiple entities and single entities as well, if if the laser is decentralized, so we can uh, storage in the multiple place and all the storage link into the each 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 nodes. So if if we want to uh, read the transaction from the any any point of node, we can uh, read those transactions. The so these distributed uh, thing which you are talking all act as an independent server. Correct. All the nodes act correct as, as an independent server. server. And they are supposed, for example, it can be a laptop or a PC or something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Some some server is behind. So uh, answer your question that these are the backup things. You can see if if uh, the multiple entities keep that all your transaction backup in the multiple entities. Do we have that storage space, something like that? Uh, yeah, whoever that uh, creates it, now we have a cloud storage. So that's what I'm saying. This will all be regulated again by the cloud where yeah, yeah. privacy norms are again a different challenge. No, but that is a more secure now because of this the data is encrypted. So you cannot read, even you cannot modify, you cannot read. So that is where the data storage, storage companies and everything which are planning of data yeah. storage. And so that's what sometimes uh, that regulation is want to be control something because currently we don't have any regulation on that blockchain. So no one knows ki where the source is coming from. So that that's is the, the reason uh, why government is not, not uh, applying legalized the, uh, allowing the bitcoins over Correct. There. The cryptocurrency has not been around because of this reason. Which is a terrorist uh, country. Uh, you country. never know okay, like, from where it is going generated and who is actually. Who is actually the, the most important thing right now? Today, the currency is being completely controlled by the RBI and government. Uh, so they is. know what is the value of it. To, tomorrow, the Bitcoin again, though nobody knows ki kaan hai control ho hai. they can play with the whole economy of the country. So that's what that's why we are not legalized because we have to make some control on that. Right. So we currently we don't have much control. So you can see these are the flow that might be distributed laser works. Like user initiate that transaction using their digital signatures. And transaction bro uh, broadcast to nodes, whatever that nodes they have, suppose multiple nodes. And one more node begin validate each transaction. So suppose we have a multiple entities, so each entity will uh, make this transaction validated. So whenever we initiate the transaction, and the transaction will be a digital signature. So that's what nobody can access on those, like because of the digital signature. So uh, after the validation of the transaction, the node agreement validated transaction into the blocks. So now that transaction is approved and make into the blocks. So once they make the blocks, the blocks will be created your master trans master uh, transactions. And then based on this, this uh, new transaction will be added in, add on in that new blocks in the same reference of the first block. And then, yeah, that's the same thing. 
peer protocol use in the in there so that's what is a secure network also because of that protocol we are using and to step chain that prior block yeah maybe i'm going fast if not it's okay yeah. so <laughs> i did some example is there yeah one example or something how uh, because that would uh, help us really mm -hmm. help in the comments barriers <laughs> Yeah, so the same thing with that yeah, cryptography, really how we, uh, yeah, that's, that's what, people like us. no, that's what it's not a deep dive. So once we complete the introduction, next time we will go in the more deep in, so deeper. If we have a real, real case, real life, when mm -hmm. how one is entering with example, mm -hmm. end to end, and how it is benefiting or whatever the uses of those blockchains. Okay. Like for example, accounts also, many people are doing yeah, yeah. the full-fledged accounting thing also now. Yeah. So that audit trail is automatic. Auditors will also not be required at one so point. Yeah, we have that multiple use cases. Maybe I'm not added in that PPT, but we, yeah, we'll, we'll show in the next time. So any live uh, real case scenario with them using it for the... Maybe we can explain the Bitcoin concept. Yeah. yeah, Bitcoin also is quite interesting. Yeah. Or NFTs for that matter, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> so innovative things coming to you. So if you see that this is the power of distribution, uh, distributed lasers, the degree of trust between user determine the technolo uh, technological and configuration of distributed uh, laser. So if you see, it can be used without a general authority by individual or entity with no basis to trust each other. So that's what his, we said. He, we cannot uh, uh, rely on that, which who is the source on this network. So that's the main thing. Same concept. So, the latest uh, user cannot know the entire history and the state of the partners. So, you source say, they can, they can. Source say, they can. All the transactions should be there available. Na? Yeah, yeah, they can. They then can. that is the only trail which someone can catch. Kira, okay. Suppose in Russia, some server. Ha, Russia, some server. Ha, 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 some or something in this. So I should come to know all the transaction at click of a button. Yeah, so that's what they maintain on one laser. And one laser, they have that all blocks. So details. Ah, previous. Correct. That's what that issue is. Ah. We cannot source identify. Source, they know everything. Where we are going. Source, you know. As a user, I should know. Because they have to because only that they know the previous one. See where we are coming so from. Someone comes up with this idea, mm -hmm. then it will be more transparent and robust. Correct. So that's it will be more robust and it will be more reliable. So people can make use yeah, of that. The still regulatory is working on this. So how we identify those sources? So you know, government of India can take that initiative or apply kuch. Ah, so they, they have that they have that uh, 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 yeah the team is working on those areas okay, how we identify stability yes. China, but the only thing is like if you put money into that e wallet what they have like even ICSI and CSC they don't pay you interest so if I keep my money in digital form and I don't earn anything out of that money then why will I keep it there I'd rather keep it in my cash in, in my bank account of course, they will come up with the requirement. I'm sure, because everything is getting digitized. So, in any which way, is, uh, so it's a separate account you create under HDFC or ICIC. A digital app is there. You transfer your money from your bank, bank account, account to that account. Like it, is, it is in the wallet form. You can transfer money from there to anyone you want to do that. So, one way it is secured in the sense you can keep limited money there if you have to transfer. But the biggest challenge is they don't pay you interest on that. So if it's a digital form or even if it is in a uh, normal currency form, what we keep, we should earn interest because yeah. it's Basically, kept with bank. Because of the inflation and the interest actually is 8%, 9%, It's kept with bank. Bank is anyways using that money for uh, further lending. There should be some benefit transferred to it. But this is where actually utilization of money goes. That is where like a Paytm mm -hmm. wallet, you're using it for say 10,000, 20,000 small amount here and there. People don't bother about uh, interest rather than they bother about the utility part of it. The convenience mm -hmm. part of it. At least it can begin from that. Mm -hmm. Then large transaction, it's mandated by government. People have to do it only. 
ऐसा भी आगे जाके वो मैंटेन हो सभी डाल सकते हैं बट सोर्स ओरिजिनेशन के बिना तो कोई काम ही नहीं करे लेजर्स करो लेकिन 